this video is the only video you need to watch when it comes to hair growth i see some hair growth videos online and i am like be so for real bffr be for real because you as a creator you who made that video and uploaded that video you know deep down in your heart that you are lying so why are you putting out such content why are you lying tell me why you are lying hello guys my name is angela of afroly and I am the one you should listen to when it comes to growing healthy, long, natural hair. I say this intro every time in all of my videos. But do you know what? Since I've been seeing some of the videos that people post online, you really should listen to me when it comes to growing healthy, long, natural hair. Because I am here to give you the tea. I am here to give you the truth. We don't lie on this channel, okay? I'm very passionate about teaching hair care, especially hair care when it comes to forcing natural hair. Because I understand how overwhelming it can be when it comes to returning natural and trying to dig out good quality information when i started sharing hair care tip in like 2018 on facebook i was part of a natural hair community on facebook called natural hair babes and i knew the quality of information i was sharing on there i would take out my time to type out all of the necessary information people needed like this is a passion for me it did not just start on youtube i started sharing valuable hair care tips since 2018 on facebook because i understand the value that sharing one's experience can give to another person i learned how to care for my hair online and for me it was like a duty to also share my experience so that people can also learn from me but child some of the videos that i've been seeing on youtube <laughs> it is obvious that like when you see those types of content it is obvious that they are just after the numbers in terms of the views they can get and the revenue they can get from ads and those are not necessarily bad things those are not necessarily bad things to want the views to want the revenue i mean those are not really bad things but when you put people's health and people's hair at risk because of numbers because of money like where is your conscience where is your conscience fear god be fearing god though when you put people's health at risk because of views and because of the ad revenue then something is wrong somewhere and we need to address it every other day there's a new recipe to grow long hair to grow waist length to do this to do that and my question is if there's a new recipe every week and we have 52 weeks in a year that is at least 52 recipes it could be more than that 52 recipes so which recipe should we use since you claim every recipe is the best recipe ever you ask people to use unregulated medications and all of those things like be so for real and i'm sorry to say this some of the viewers some people who consume content online are gullible i'm sorry to say this but that is the truth you're gullible you're easy to manipulate like you believe everything that you see online you do not go back to do your own personal research somebody says do this and that and you take the advice hook line and sinker without even thinking how that fits into your own hair care or your own health in general learn how to listen to people's advice but also verify their claims before you do anything to your hair and this also applies to my content when you watch my content and you hear me say things do not just consume that information without doing your own background check now that we have that out of the way this is the real tea this is the real things that you need to know when it comes to hair growth i have my notes here with jottings so you can also get a note and a pen to write down some of the things i'm about to say so the points we're going to be talking about in this video when it comes to hair growth we're going to be talking about what is hair growth because a lot of people confuse hair growth and hair retention we're going to talk on what is hair growth we're also going to touch on the topic of if hair growth is genetic because i know that is the popular conversation in the natural hair community we're going to talk on that then we're going to talk on what you should do to promote hair growth and the thing that you are doing that could possibly be slowing down your hair growth okay the difference between hair growth and length retention hair growth happens from your scalp from inside your skin from the hair follicles okay that is where hair growth happens but when it comes to length retention length retention is how are you able to maintain the length of hair that has grown from your scalp okay so that is the difference between hair growth and length retention and your hair follicles are nourished by blood vessels underneath the skin now there are four phases when it comes to hair growth and every hair follicle on your head is going through different stage at the same time they are happening simultaneously the first stage that we have is the anagen stage this is the growing stage and typically it lasts between two to seven years but there are people who could have longer anagen stage which is more than seven years but there are also people who could have lower anagen stage which is less than two years this anagen phase is the growing phase and it is the phase that determines how long your hair would be the next phase that we have is the catagen phase this phase is the transition phase in this phase your hair follicle will shrink 
and detach from the dermal papilla after the catagen phase the next phase your hair follicle will go through is the telogen phase this is commonly called the resting phase so after the detached follicle is resting new hair will then begin to grow out from that hair follicle then the final and last phase is the exogen phase this is when the hair follicle that was resting sheds and then the new hair pops out properly for you to see and like i said before all of these phases are happening at the same time with different hair follicles the next big question that we need to answer this is a common conversation in the natural hair community is hair growth genetic the truth is that yes hair growth is genetic and that is the simple answer to the question yes your genetics will affect your hair growth saying genetics affect hair growth is the simple answer to that question because as much as your genetics affect your hair growth your age also affects hair growth your hormones affect hair growth your diet affects hair growth medications that you consume affect hair growth um there are certain medical treatment like chemotherapy radiation therapy that also affects hair growth so as much as to say yes genetic affects hair growth there are also multiple other factors that could be affecting your hair growth also mistake that you make as someone who wants to grow healthy long natural hair is to say well i do not have the genetics to grow healthy long hair so i'm just going to give up because i don't have the genetics for good hair without realizing that your genes may not necessarily be the problem your hormones may be the problem your diet may be the problem your age may be the problem the medication you consume may be the problem your environment may be the problem you need to really ask yourself if you've reached your maximum hair growth rate as per your genetic disposition what if you are genetically disposed to have longer hair than you currently do but the reason you haven't reached that length may be due to other factors that i have stated now that we know that your genes affect your hair growth rate but there's basically nothing you can do about your genes you have no control over that so if you are trying to improve your hair growth rate you should focus more on the other factors that you have control over the next question is what are the things that you can do to promote hair growth yes we now know the factors that can affect hair growth but that is just knowing the problems we need to find solutions to those problems the first thing you should do is to check your diet because deficiency in certain nutrients can affect your hair growth rate and it can also affect the general health of your hair studies suggest that deficiency in vitamin b12 vitamin d biotin and iron can be associated to hair growth and you know women are prone to having lower iron level because of our menstrual cycle you should also try to eat a balanced diet try to eat foods that are rich in minerals and vitamins eat eggs because it is a great source of protein and biotin and protein and biotin is important for your hair health and your hair growth on the issue of biotin color me surprised when i found out that consuming high amount of biotin and this is not just consuming food rich in biotin but like consuming the supplements the pills could interfere with laboratory results when it comes to diagnosing and managing a wide range of conditions when you go to the hospital to carry out certain tests your biotin level is what doctors check because your biotin level indicates that something is wrong so if you're consuming biotin orally and you go to carry out those tests your biotin level will show that it is normal meanwhile something is wrong with you but because you're consuming biotin orally you've altered your biotin level and doctors cannot figure out what is wrong with you this has serious implications because people have died from carrying out tests and their biotin level show that it is normal but then there is something wrong with them i heard a story of a woman who was having chest pain she went to the hospital and had tests done but her biotin level was okay and the doctors were like we don't see anything wrong with you you can go home tell me why she went home and died of a heart attack with all of these negative effects of consuming a high amount of biotin tell me why there was a time on youtube in the natural hair community they were heavily promoting the consumption of biotin yes it might be an over-the-counter medication but that does not mean that it does not have an effect when you over consume it so please when you see videos online people telling you to take this take that do this mixture make sure you do your own research because a simple google search will bring out this information that i just shared but people do not put those disclaimers in their videos they just tell you take this take that mix this put this make sure you do your own personal research and if you're not satisfied with your own personal research seek the advice of a medical expert before you begin to take supplements that were promoted by influencers the final point that i have when it comes to your diet just eat your veggies eat your fruits eat your fatty fish make sure you consume a balanced diet 
and you do not need to be taking all of these things except it is prescribed by a medical professional a major point that i do not see a lot of creators talking about when it comes to your hair growth is that your hormones can affect your hair growth two hormones that specifically affect your hair growth are estrogens and progesterone when the level of estrogen and progesterone drops your hair growth rate is most likely to be slow and your hair strands become thinner pregnancy is one major life change in women that affect their hormones and i've seen people who get pregnant and because of their hormonal imbalance and the way their hormones changes you see somebody who was very hairy somebody who has very long hair their hair begins to break they begin to experience excessive shedding and at that point there is nothing you can do about it like even if you use expensive products on your hair it will have no difference because the major cause for that hair loss or slower hair growth is because your hormone is imbalanced so the safest bet is for you to get your hormone at a balanced level before you can see changes when it comes to your hair growth another set of women that are most likely to experience hormonal imbalance that can affect their hair growth is women who are experiencing menopause and also young girls who are going through puberty can also experience hormonal imbalance and that can affect their hair growth rate honestly it seems as though women are just set up to experience so many things in their life at different stages that could possibly lead to hormonal imbalance and that hormonal imbalance can possibly lead to slower hair growth rate so you should see a general practitioner and check if your hormone is balanced because no matter what product you use if your hormonal level is not balanced no matter what product you use your hair is still not going to grow something else that i did not mention earlier that could possibly affect your hair growth rate is your stress level and honestly in this world that we are in i would advise that you exercise do some yoga you know try to ease your mind from the things that are stressing you and i know that the world is difficult now like people's work is stressing them school there are a number of things that could possibly lead to high stress level from school to work because there are people who experience sudden hair fall when their stress level is high i know of a couple of people that when they experience intense stress their hair tends to fall out from their scalp so this means that your stress level can affect your energy stage remember we talked about your energy stage lasting between two to seven years some people's stress level can just cut the energy phase to a very short period of time and then your hair just goes through the other stage quickly and it begins to fall out also certain medications can affect your hair growth so most times when you are prescribed medications you should do well to ask questions about the effect and also read about the medication before you begin to take them at the end of the day if you're eating a balanced diet if your hormone is balanced your stress level is low you're not on any medication or any treatment that could possibly hinder your hair growth and your hair length does not seem to improve then maybe hair growth is not your problem because for a lot of people hair growth is continuous as long as you do not have any medical condition your hair will continue to grow so maybe hair growth is not your problem because your hair is definitely growing but your problem could be that your hair is breaking off because of the way that you handle your natural hair and that hinders length retention remember we talked about the difference between hair growth and length retention so if you're doing everything right to improve your hair growth but you're still not seeing an improvement when it comes to the length of your hair maybe you're not retaining length so i'll be making an in-depth video on length retention because now you have the full information on hair growth so having the right information on length retention is the perfect combination if you intend to grow long healthy natural hair i would suggest that you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification so that you get notified when i upload that video if you've learned a thing or two from this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye